Nambla. I met him out in New York. And I was with him about three times and a kid named uh, Harold Baker. Uh, he was a kid that was always with him. I mean, Carl always got arrested. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when he got arrested, but he got arrested and charged with uh, sexual abuse and some girl or something. He had actually sexually abused a lot of other people, but they didn't want to bring all of it out. Where was he arrested? <clears throat> I think in New York. I mean, I'm not Do you know what his occupation was? Uh, no. Do you know where he was from? Was he from Omaha? Carl No, he's from, he was from out there on the East Coast. So. I only met him through the um, This guy is Tim Anderson. And, uh, Any relation? To? Harold? No. Tim Anderson was uh, probably in his 30s. And I met, I met him through Carlson, too. He's always at the parties that I was with him. Only, I was only with him three times. Where was this? In what city? In Omaha. His interests were in, uh, at the time, he liked younger kids. How old was he? In his 30s. Okay, I said that. Yeah. Uh, next guy is Wayne Sunday, which I was with him one time. He's kind of a fat, plump guy, but kind of sick. Um, met him through Nambo, too, out in New York. Stayed at his place, uh, most of the time I was in town, I stayed at his apartment. He was on the steering committee with the uh, NAMBLA. He's one of their head guys. What did he do for a living? I don't know what he did for a living. I know he was the head guy on the steering committee for NAMBLA and did a lot of work for them, but I'm not sure what he did outside there. I mean, I could probably figure it out. How old a guy was he? Probably in his 30s. Kind of bald on top, fat. And I had hair on both sides, but no one else. And the uh, next guy is Larry King, and I was with him under 10 times, which is actually about maybe five or six. Uh, is he Larry King from Omaha? Yeah. Okay. And then about Franklin King, credit me. Man. Met him in 80, and I met him in 82 or 83 at the parties. Uh, I seen him in 80 at rituals, I seen him in 79 at some, a couple of rituals, but I never really knew who he was until 80 when I was introduced to him. Then in 82, 83, some stuff happened. I met him through, at the parties I met him through Bear. And then he started inviting me to his party and stuff, which uh, I never really had to do anything with him as long as I kept his big shots that he brought in happy. He didn't expect nothing from me. He paid me good. And Who were the big shots he brought in? A lot of them, I don't know. A lot of them were like senators and congressmen from other states. Uh, a lot state of them senators or U.S. Senators? To them. State senators or U.S. senators? State senators, U.S. senators, congressmen, governors. I mean, uh, Do you that's know where I got involved with the Washington, D.C. and stuff and went to Washington, D.C. a lot. And he was also, I believe, involved with Monarch because I remember seeing him or a uh, fat man that looked like him, maybe younger, in the early 70s and stuff when I first got involved with Monarch. So I think it was him. I'm not 100% sure. Off, off the Air Force Base, which is also where I met um, uh, Wall. Um, which Wall? Name it. First name. I wonder from you. What, Jerry? What, what was his first name? Jerry? Yeah. Jerry Waldy. Jerry Waldy, the FBI. He was an FBI agent in Omaha. And traveled a lot. When, when did you meet Wall? I actually, you know, I trying to go through that. I not sure, but I remember seeing him and a lot of the things that we did all through the seven, most well, midway through the seventies up until probably for after about seventy six to. About the time I got away from Earth in '86, it's about ten year period that maybe you know about that. How, about many, that time, how many times did you see him? I seen him a lot of times. Whenever I went to training and stuff, he was one of the guys that was there. I never really got to. I mean, not every time I went to training, but about once every couple of months I'd see him. Training for what? Monarch. Okay. 
He was born I, just against, want you, I just want you to say this. Yeah, okay. So uh, there's no question about what you're okay. talking about. You understand what I'm He was doing? one of the guys that did the mind control stuff that would uh, kind of be like the protector. He'd kind of talk to you when things were happening and stuff and kind of try to make you think that he was on your side and stuff and you could trust him. You couldn't trust nobody else, but you could trust him. Well, see, when I say Jerry, who, or Wong, mm -hmm. yeah. what I'm trying to do is I, I don't want anything to be uh, for granted. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I want it all to be, I remember him I all to hang out. I remember him connecting with Larry King and stuff because they had met a couple, they talked several times. Larry King provided some boys for him. Uh, there was a party, I remember there was a small kid that Jerry brought to the party. This is like in the late, before I pulled away from the thing, um, 86. How old was the kid? Probably about six. Who was the kid, do you know? Uh, I believe it was his son. Because Pastor John showed me a picture of Wall one time and just asked me if I knew who the guy was at the time. I said he looked familiar, but I didn't have a name for him. And then we started talking about something one time, and he didn't have he didn't he didn't have these pictures again and stuff. But he mentioned something about some guy and stuff. I said, "You show me a picture of him." And he goes, "Which one?" I said, "One with a kid." And I knew I I know I seen the kid because it was the same kid. And Where did you see him? Where you uh, you seen the kid? Where you saw a picture of the kid, then you tied it into this party. Well, see, I seen the kid at the party, but I seen when I seen the picture of Jerry Wall and his son, but I didn't know it was Jerry Wall and his son. All I said is the guy looked familiar, but I said the kid looked more familiar. The reason the kid looked more familiar than Jerry was because uh, at that time and stuff was I had been going through all of the I was going through at the same time and stuff. I was going through memory of all of the kids that were victimized at parties and stuff. And his face was one that was at a party and stuff. And it, I have a thing, tendency to, when I see the pictures of the victims, I have a tendency to recognize them before I little perpetrators because in the past when I was doing the MPD and stuff even, there was blocks on the perpetrators. There was other victims, there was no blocks on them. But the who was perpetrating or who was sexually abusing me or whatever they were doing to me, there was blocks that would block them out. I couldn't see what the face looked like. So it's like when I was showing, picture, yeah, showing pictures of them, there might have been a resemblance. Like, I, you know, I know I've seen that person before, but I didn't have, I couldn't connect it right away. With the kids, there was no blocks. So it was easy to recognize him, but I didn't exactly know what it was from. Okay, this kid was about six years old. What was the year on that again? That was about 86. 86. So the, the child now would be... He'd probably be about... About 13 years old. Well... 11, 12, because I'm saying six, you know, four is, you know, like maybe five, six years old. And I was, depending on what year this is. This is six, yeah, this is I don't count 93 yet, so four, five, six. I just had six three. years. I don't add 93. Eight years later. 86, you say? Four, five, six. So I've been about six and a half years. Okay, so today, how old would that kid be? Be about maybe 12, okay. 11, 12 years old. Okay, um, you said that uh, Larry King would send you out to politicians and congressmen, senators. So how did you know they were congressmen, senators? Well, a lot of times when we were like in Washington D.C. and stuff, uh, I figured it out after a while when they came in and like some of them had bodyguards. You know, they'd come in and uh, look around. You know, and they'd always be like they'd always have forward guys that would go in before they would. And then they get shot, I guess, the forward guy gets shot. And uh, that was mainly with the uh, congressmen and stuff. The governors, we went to different states and we went with, I think I was only with two governors. What, what state did you go to and when? Uh, there was one out in New York, or New York or Massachusetts. I've been trying to figure that one out because we were in, where we were at was like real close to either side. So I don't know where it was at, but I do know that I met with Senator Barney Franks, who was from.